माय नेम इज आर्यन सिंह आर्य पुत्र कुमार नारायण सिंह कौनते फ्रॉम दिल्ली आई स्पीक नो कंटिन्यू इंग्लिश टू इंग्लिश आई एम वेरी वेरी सॉरी सर मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ क्या भगवान के बनाए हुए सभी नियमों में परिवर्तन होता रहता है क्या मैं इसलिए पूछना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि इस्लाम धर्मावली बोलते हैं कि यानी कि मनुष्य का कभी पूर्ण जन्म नहीं होता है और जबकि श्रीमद् भागवत गीता में श्री कृष्णा ने अर्जुन से कहा है हे पार्थ कि इंसान यानि कि कई बार जन्म लेता है शायद तुम्हें तो नहीं मालूम है मेरे कई जन्म हो चुके हैं मैंने पहला जो गीता का ज्ञान दिया था वो पहले मनु को दिया था जिसे आप शायद नू इस्लाम का नाम से जानते होंगे और दूसरी बार कहते हैं कि मैंने सूर्य देव को ये ज्ञान दिया था उसके बाद मैं आपको दे रहा हूं तो सर आप क्या बता सकते हैं कि मनुष्य का पूर्ण जन्म होता है या नहीं होता है क्या भगवान के बनाए हुए नियमों में क्या परिवर्तन होता रहता है क्या समय अनुसार मैं ये पूछना चाहता हूँ can they be change in the law and the teaching of almighty god can they be changes and question 2 is that can a person be reborn can he be reborn and equal the verse of the gita which i'll come to it later on as far as the first question is concerned can the laws of god keep on changing if the law of god is time bound if it's meant for only a particular group of people and for a particular time period it will keep on changing for example as i mentioned my talk torah zabur injil all of them were revelation of god but they were meant for a particular group of people and for a particular time period but once the last and final revelation of god has been revealed nothing new can be added nothing can be subtracted quran is the last and final revelation of almighty god no other revelation is going to come prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger there is no other messenger to come allah says in surah azab chapter 3 verse 40 ma kana muhammadun aba ahadim min rijalikum wal akhir rasulullah wa khatam nabiyin wa kana allah bi kulli shay'in alima that muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of any of you men but he is a messenger of allah and is the seal of the prophets and allah is all knowing full of wisdom after prophet muhammad if anyone says that he is a messenger of god he gets revelation then he requires a psychiatrist prophet muhammad is the last and final messenger after quran no other revelation will come and quran clearly mentioned in surah maida chapter 5 verse number 3 on this day have a complete my religion for you and have chosen for you islam and complete my favor on you once the religion is completed nothing new can be added nothing can be subtracted so as far your question yes the old revelations they can be changes but the basic message from the first revelation till the last about tauhid about oneness of god is the same so all the revelations that came before the quran they have not maintained their pure form they have been changed by human beings and because it was not meant for eternity almighty god didn't feel it fit to be preserved but as far as the quran is concerned allah says in surah hijr chapter number 15 verse number 9 we have revealed the quran and we shall guard it from corruption this quran even if all the human beings try and change the quran they cannot do it all the human being and jinn they get together they can't change the quran so as far as the previous revelation yes they can be a change but the final revelation no it cannot be changed it is the ultimate 